Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, I just did a video talking about the Redress Right channel's handle at OG Redress Right, the original gangster. No, it just stands for original. It doesn't stand for no gangster. I ain't nobody's gangster. Now, I told you guys about starting a militia and everything, so I ain't in no militia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take just a brief moment to explain a couple of things. In 2013, I was, and I just, let's just say I wasn't asleep, but I wasn't fully awake either. And I got to see what's been taking place on this planet now. That was 2013. Same period of time for which a name was given me. Not, no, 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 no. You just need to understand it the way I'm saying it. Don't try to figure it out because it ain't your business. Okay? Mind your business. So it ain't your business. I'm just explaining. And I had a celly. Yes, I was on vacation then. The only place I can be undistracted, believe it or not. I was on vacation. And his name was Jonathan Infante Santiago. Okay, now Jonathan Infante Santiago, we were in the same pod. And I'm looking at all the wannabes. And yes, there's a lot of homosexuality in the prison system, especially in Puerto Rico. I mean, we even had Id idiots running up and down the pod with no clothes on, and the officers were allowing this. That's what I had to endure. But Jonathan, this young man was different. Jonathan was completely different. Jonathan was married, had three children, and a wife. Well, you just said he was married. How, well, wouldn't we already assume he had a wife? Look, would you just stop it? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, because as Kanye West told... You know, I'm going to find that before this is over. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get off into what I need to talk about, this is a Jimmy Kimball interview that happened four years ago. 2018 is when this video is up. So it says Jimmy Kimball full interview with Kanye West. If you haven't seen this, I promise you, I was not on Kanye's jock before I saw this interview. Okay, now I like some of his songs, but I wasn't Kanye, you know, he, he was not my man. He was new school, I'm old school. So, you know, but let me tell you something. The boy's a genius. I, 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 I don't care what nobody else say. You cannot knock what he's been able to accomplish. You, you cannot do it. You, you cannot, there are so many things that this man has been able to accomplish that some of it yes he had some promotion but a lot of it is all him so i want y'all to listen to this okay no listen to me i want y'all to listen to this his head off, his head saying, off that saying that the earth the earth uh that what, uh, what, that, do, you what, what do you say the, the, the sun the revolved, sun revolved around, around, around the earth, the earth right, vice, right. Versa. vice versa you know so when you, you know so when you have modern, modern with the, with no, the, no hold on hold on jimmy kimball he just said kanye said or vice versa so he corrected himself now, Jimmy Kimball is going to correct Kanye. Watch. I'm not concerned about the specific right, right. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got to watch that completely. I am not concerned about the specific sir. <laughs> no, 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 no. Y'all don't understand. It was perfect. So let me play the whole thing so y'all can see what Kanye West is talking about. Oh it man! Makes yay, makes yay. Makes yay. And, I and I actually quite, quite I quite enjoy, I quite enjoy when people, when people uh, actually, <laughs> actually are actually mad, mad, mad at me about certain you things. You must enjoy. Yeah. 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 I actually, I actually quite, quite enjoy. Because your wife, your wife was, was mad at you, right? I mean, according, I mean, according to, your to your song, your wife, your wife was, was upset about that. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Or even if I changed my mind about it, or thought about it more, which I'm not saying I did. Just place the thought out there. That everyone's, that everyone's not thinking not sometimes. Thinking sometimes. Galileo, Galileo, they want to, they want to chop his head chop off, his head saying, off that saying that the earth, the earth, uh, that, uh, what, that what do you what say, do you the, say the, the, the sun revolved around, around the earth, the earth, right, vice, right, versa. vice versa. 
You know, so when you, you, know, have, so when you have modern, modern, modern but the sun is but, yeah. but, yeah. but, yeah. but, but I'm not yeah. concerned yeah. about yeah. the specific yeah. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Okay, he did that on live TV to a so-called celebrity. Because if you watch this interview, you'll see the Jimmy Kimball, who says that he likes Kanye, but that's the celebrity side of him liking Kanye, kept trying to bring up Donald Trump, kept trying to bring up negative stuff, and Kanye is constantly taking him off the negative, bringing him back to the positive. Taking him back to the subject Kanye wants to have, Jimmy Kimball wants to have controversy because he needed ratings. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not concerned about the specifics. I'm mentioning this video right here because I there was a young man who I did a consult with. I couldn't get through, I couldn't even get through 30 seconds of talking without him doing exactly what Jimmy Kimball did. Kanye had already corrected himself. You heard him say, or vice versa, because he wasn't really trying to make that the point. That wasn't the point of the conversation. So Kanye says, I'm not concerned about the specifics, sir. In other words, that's not the point. And Jimmy Kimball embarrassed because the crowd is kind of surprised that Kanye West did exactly this. Hold on. Uh, uh, right, or right or wrong. Or wrong. Or even if or I even change if I my change mind, my mind about, about it, about it, about it, about it about Oh, it. by the way, this right here was very profound. He said you just put a thought out there. Thoughts are powerful, people. Thoughts are powerful. So watch this, which I, young man. Which I'm not saying, not I, did. saying I did. Just place, Just a, place thought a thought out there, out there that everyone's, that not, everyone's thinking not thinking sometimes. sometimes. Galileo, Galileo they, want to, they want to chop his head chop off, his head saying, off that saying that the earth, the earth uh, that, what, uh, that, what do you what, say, do you the, say the, the, sun the sun revolved around the earth, the earth right, vice, right. Versa. vice versa? You know, See, yeah. he corrected himself or vice versa. In other words, that's not the point. That he just said they wanted to chop his head off because he said something. That's what Kanye was. That's the point he was making. And he continues That's his so conversation. Modern, 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 so and so hold on. And Jimmy Kimball interrupts him because he needs to correct him. Why do you feel the need to correct somebody? No, 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 no. We're not talking about white person correcting a black person. We ain't talking about that. So don't y'all go there. We're talking about the human need. See? You see what I just had to do? I had to interrupt myself to correct you because I know that some of you were sitting up there thinking that. And that's our society. You can't get through a conversation without someone thinking that they're a lawyer and they got to correct the record. Ladies and gentlemen, if I or Kanye or my grandmama say something wrong, let us be wrong. The scriptures say, why not let yourself be wrong? Scriptures say that. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Give me one second. Touristic. Touristic. Yeah. But, yeah. but, yeah. The, but, but I'm not concerned about the specific, specific sir. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? That right there was perfect. Hold on. I'm sorry. Ever since I saw that interview, I thought that was hilarious. Because everybody was trying to make Kanye West the centerpiece. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because he wore a t-shirt. And so because he wore a t-shirt, he hates everything and everybody. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. That, that's, yeah. Uh, Malcolm X talked about how the media controls the world because they control what you think. They control how you think. That's why I don't pay attention. Okay, all of the things they were saying about Kanye West, all of the things they were saying, oh, and this Tucker Carlson, by all means, go and listen to that interview. And I don't agree with everything Kanye says, okay? But I'm not supposed to. Okay, he and I don't know each other. But what I can tell you one thing is when you listen to Kanye, I want you to pay attention to him for just one more second. Do you ever regret, you ever regret anything, anything you say, anything or, you say or, is or is it just, is you just, just looking, you just at, look like, at it like, hey, like, hey, put it out there, it's out there, there, it's there, there's, out no there there's no point. No, you notice right after Kanye says, I'm not concerned about the specifics, sir, and the crowd laughs. Then he says, do you ever regret anything you say? Why? Because he just embarrassed this man on his own television program. So the very next thing Jimmy Kimball has to do is to save face. So do you ever regret anything you say? 
point in regretting, point it. regretting it. I think people I think focus, people too, focus much too much on the past, on the past and focus, and too, focus much too much on regret. regret. Even like when Even you deal like with, you schools, deal with like schools, like you take like, like, you slave, take like idea. slave idea. My, my, my point, my point is, is, I've heard of history, I've heard of history class. class. I, I've never heard I've of never a heard class, of a that, class breaks that breaks down how you, how you, you know, balance you know, a checkbook, balance a checkbook or how you control, or how you control your, your finances, finances, which, are, which are, my father my never, father taught, me never taught me that. And I've never heard, of, I've never future heard of future class. Future class. So, so they keep us they so, keep us focused, so focused, on focused on history that we start to believe that it actually repeats, actually repeats itself. itself. And we become, and we become overly, traditional, overly traditional and we can't and we advance, can advance as... as a race, of, a race beings. of beings. We get too we get caught, too up, in caught up in the past and what everyone's, what everyone's saying, saying what everyone's, what everyone's tweeting. And sometimes and you just have, you to, just be have to be fearless, fearless enough, enough to break to break the, the simulation. When I mean simulation, when I mean this simulation, is what I this what I Okay, I'm gonna let him stop right there. It's not because he's about to say something that I don't agree with. That ain't the reason why I'm stopping him right there because this video is not about Kanye. Okay, I just wanted to say, if you listen to him. You'll see the man's not crazy. He actually makes a very good point. Why do we learn about history and nobody talks about where we're headed? Now, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to know where you've been in order to get to where you're going. We all know that. But look at how often we study history in school. Go ahead. With mathematics, with science, everything, we study history. It's okay to cover history. You know, this is how we got here. Now let's move on how we're going to move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys hear me talking about the history of the organizations. The first thing somebody told me about the right to redress. And man, I, you better believe you couldn't dog with a bone. I would not leave that one alone. Once I learned what redress meant and we had that right, it means I got the right to complain and they got to do something about it. You better believe I was going on that right. That's what this video is about. We giving you guys information, but we haven't told y'all what y'all going to do with that information. So I want y'all to follow me here. We got to go back several pages and I'm going to keep y'all on here while I go back those several pages. I think we should be, it's probably not going to be here. I don't know. Uh, another, uh, no, another no, no, we're not at the right ones. Shut up, Jimmy Kimball. Y'all are not the right Those ones. Hold on. Shut up, up Kanye. Be quiet. I'm not talking to you right now. No, we, we, we got a spat. I ain't talking to him right now. That's Usher. I don't want Usher. Ladies and gentlemen, I want my S-A-D-I-E. I want my spinners. And I did a video yesterday on the Redress channel. And you know what I forgot, ladies and gentlemen? I forgot the name of that group. The Whispers, the Four Tops, the Spinners. We're not even going to talk about the Manhattans and the stylistics and all of them. You know how they put them all in one group? Well, those are the groups I listened to as a child. Now, I don't need you emailing me, texting me, and calling me, telling me about the groups you listened to as a child. Do your own video. Put it on YouTube. And, 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 and if I find it without you telling me, hey, I got a video talking about this too. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I'm going to be like, good for you, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Okay? But... Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm just, I just need to show y'all something, okay? I just need to show y'all something. I was playing the spinners and I was showing y'all this video right here. And I'm not going to play the whole song. Listen to that right there. In a world like today in a world, in a like, world today. like today it's okay a it's a ladies and gentlemen all of us who have mothers who have passed away mothers who had to struggle every single day to make ends meet why did they have to struggle no why 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 did they have to struggle ladies and gentlemen if all they had to do was apply for Federal Reserve notes and ask for the bank to give them an advancement of Federal Reserve notes in order for the Federal Reserve Bank to be reimbursed by the Federal Reserve Board, why did our mothers have to struggle? Why did our mothers have to struggle? Hold on, y'all don't get me. 
And so we're about to get something started. Okay. Michael asks about wanting to be starting something. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't care about this act. We're going to go 21st C H E C K 21st check. Watch this A C T. Then we're going to go dot P David Franklin PDF. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we're doing the 21st check act yeah, it's the 21st Century Act, but we're, we're doing 21st Check Act. That's what I'm looking for. Okay? The Check 21st Act. This is what we're doing. Check clearing for the 21st Century Act. This is what we're doing. Why are we doing the 20 or the Check 21st Act or Check 21 Act? Why are we doing that? Why am I pulling that up? Anybody? Let's see if it's... Well, we can go, no, we don't care about the report to Congress. No, we, we don't care about no report to Congress. Let's see if it's on the FDIC. This is a PDF. Let's see if this is the actual act. But I want all of you to download the act. Okay, first amendments to the Federal Reserve Board Regulation CC. Now, I want y'all to do me a favor. I don't know this right here. So I just want to do something. No, so we can't do bank means. We can't do banking business, so this is not the 21st Century Act. It ain't even got banking, so we can't do this right here. We can't do this amendment junk that they're doing. This is only four pages long, so yeah, it ain't going to cover what I need. So we're going to have to go to the university. Where you at, University. Where, where, I don't care about no HR. That's a house. No, we don't care about them. We're going to go here. University. I think this is the University of North Carolina. Okay. Institute of Government. All right. Now, what we want to do, now just we're going to do the same thing under the check 21st law. Okay. Hold on. Oh, and that's what you guys don't understand. The checks can reproduce your, I mean, the banks can reproduce your instruments, your uh, bills of exchange. Now, we can't search for it in here because it's only two pages long. And they just mark it legal copy. You guys, some of you guys have seen that document that says legal copy on it. But we're not concerned about the legal copy. So we can't use this one either. It's not long enough. You guys can use it, but what I need is the actual act. And I'm just not happy with the fact that it ain't here. So let's pull this up right here. This should be it. Come on now. Yeah, this is it right here. Copies. I didn't I didn't know it was about the check clearing thing. I just saw the check 24 21 act. So it's 21st Century Bank Act is what 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 it was called. 21st Century Bank Act is what I called it. I've known about it for quite some time because it was the thing that also talked a little bit about how it's only 19 pages, ladies and gentlemen. It talked a little bit about them credit cards, you know, how those individual corporations that are banks that give out debit cards how they are banks and so that's you hear me say that from time to time times to times now we're gonna do bank means it's under section three m e a n s no we can't do the s oh no it uh it won't do that okay banking and then b u Nope, don't have business. I know it's here. The term bank, that's what, it, see, I said means. Oh, because it has the quotation. The term bank means any person. This means you. This meant your mother. This meant your grandmother. This meant your grandfather. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all banks. Now, what you need to understand, the reason 
ladies and gentlemen, why this is so important that it's in the Check 21 Act. The reason why this is so important that it's in the Check 21 Act because I need you guys to see something. We can go all the way to the bottom because we can't make it to the top unless we start from the bottom. We told y'all we got to go to the future. Kanye, thank you. Enacted October 28, 2003. Hold on. Last update, September 18, 2019. So, wait, wait, wait. Y'all don't understand why I'm doing this? Let me show you. Let me show you the way. Okay. Uh-oh. We went to section three. Where my term bank at? Right here. Section three. This is your best friend. We don't want and shall include. We want the term bank means any person that is located in any state and engaged in the business of banking. How much more engaged can you be in the business of banking than taking out a loan from a Federal Reserve agent? I'm sorry. Maybe you haven't understood me. How much more involved can you be in banking business than taking out a loan from a financial institution and making payments and having that loan traded on the market? Ladies and gentlemen, let's do that. Uh-uh. Let's do that. This is a term, engaged in banking business. It, we first see this term in Presidential Proclamation 2039, copy. So what we're going to do, because this is how, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. La, 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 la. We're going to paste that banking business right there, and we're going to see what it means. Okay, no. Uh... No, 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 no. What is meant by engagement in banking? What is meant by business of banking? Let's do engagement. Engagement banking instead leverages technology. No, no, no. We don't want that. Why y'all doing that to persons engaged in business? Now, this one is just business. It's not banking business. Okay, so let's do let's do meaning. Forget that. Okay, so a person who is engaged in business means a person who manufactures, markets, distributes, advertises, sells a qualified product in the regular course of the blah 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, because you're engaged in business, you lend money. You sit up there and borrow money. You make deposits. You're engaged in banking business. Just that simple. Now, you need to understand, because those are just talking about engaged in business. Uh, what is business banking? No, that's not what nobody's talking about. No business banking. It's called engaged in the business of banking. But the act actually says any other form of banking business. Okay. So it says any person who is engaged in the business of banking, a person who is engaged, a person who is engaged in carrying out any activity related to commercial industrial purposes is known as a businessman. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. A person who is engaged in carrying out any activity related to commercial or industrial purposes is known as a businessman. He sets up his business as a new entrant in the market as for the existing business. An entrepreneur. That's what a prostitute is. Sorry. It's a word I came up with. That's what I call the social security uh, supervisor. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make sure you guys understand. Someone has been telling you should be operating as a sole proprietor. Even when you're working for an employer, you should be doing it as a subcontractor. Okay? The reason why you need to know what a person engaged in business is, because that's your right to engage in business. Either private business. Man, would you stay out of my business? Okay? Or commercial business. 
Oh man, I made forty thousand dollars on that deal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, start engaging in business and start suing them for interfering with your right to engage in commerce. You have a right to engage in commerce. Watch this. The R I G H two. Yeah, I know I misspelled some words, but we go interpreting bulletin, commercial activity, section 2.1 of the states that commercial activity means a particular transaction, act or conduct or a regular course of conduct that is. Do you guys understand? Now, this is for Canada. Nobody cares about Canada, but it's going to be the very same thing for every country. So watch this, commercial activities, comma, USA business constitutional right everything you need to know business constitutional rights are the rights of any companies formed in the United States who are afforded by the United States Constitution you have a constitutional right to engage in commerce Com Congress only gets to regulate commerce regulate commerce see let's do the clause so that y'all can see hey santa get your go over here okay let's do the clause okay because it is necessary that you understand the commerce clause would you get out of here nobody's donating to you this year the commerce clause refers to article 1 section 8 clause 3 of the united states constitution which gives congress no it didn't give congress anything congress gave this to themselves the people never voted on this junk sorry which gives Congress the power to regulate commerce with foreign nation and amongst the several states and with Indian tribes, but not among the people. Do you understand that? Congress does not get to regulate the people. There is no justification for the regulating of the people. Okay? Doesn't matter about interpreting of the Commerce Clause. You need to understand it only gives them the right to regulate commerce with foreign nations and among the several states and Indian tribes, but not amongst the people. Okay? See, Congress has often used the Commerce Clause to justify exercising legislative power over the people. Nope, sorry. You can do it with the states and the states doing business with each other, but not the people. Leading to significant and ongoing controversies regarding the balance of power between federal government and the states. Ladies and gentlemen, it has nothing to do with federal government's authority and the states. It's the act specifically says to regulate commerce with foreign nation and among between the states. Not with the people. Go ahead. I just let somebody tell me wrong. Let a Supreme Court case tell me that they meant the people. No, they wanted to control money, not the people. So if you are not engaged in commerce, commercial business, the right to regulate commerce is not regulating you. Okay? Just that simple. The Supreme Court doesn't get to determine, pay attention, what the right to regulate commerce is. No, they have the right to regulate commerce with foreign nations and among the several states and with Indian tribes. There is no more inclusiveness. It is specific to this only. Say what? That's right. That's what people don't understand. Let's go ahead and read it, y'all, shall we? Foreign nation states, Indian tribes, establish uniform rules for nationalization, blah, blah, blah. But wait, wait, coin money? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Roads and posts? But where does it say the right to regulate the people within the states? You see, the people retain those rights. 
the people retain those rights. So if you don't believe me, go back and read it. The Constitution has to be followed as written. It has to be taken literally because Congress used every single word specifically and intentionally is what the Supreme Court has said. There is no right to regulate the people. There never has been a right to regulate the people. Don't go out there and start shouting this because if you haven't prepared the conversation, you can't have the conversation. Okay, if you haven't prepared for the conversation, you can't have the conversation. So shout it out. Okay, let's get you guys back to the purpose of this. The video done on the Redress Right channel yesterday was giving you guys a heads up as to what the rules were and the laws were. The document that I'm preparing won't be ready until tomorrow because I got to work on the student loan documents today. And that's going to take me all day. Um, it's 8.10 now. My hope is I'll be finished with that before 5 o'clock today. It's a lot of reading. It's a lot of proofreading. It's a lot of going over the documents and making sure the documents are specific. And so y'all just have to bear with me. Um, let's get back to this. As I said before, your mothers, your grandmothers, your fathers, your uncles, your grandfathers, your aunts, your sisters, your brothers, your nieces, your nephews, your cousins, your kinfolk, your in-laws, your friends, your associates, your fellow man, your fellow woman, your fellow human, your fellow members of mankind, doesn't matter how you look at it. If you're in the United States, you don't have to be a citizen of the United States in order to be a bank. You just have to be, wait, let's let Congress tell that to you guys again. And I went off the page and I'm sorry, I went off script, so I gotta pull it up, y'all. So let's see, let me pause y'all for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, you all need to pay attention to the definition. The term bank means any person that is located in a state, any person, whether it is a corporation, a sole proprietorship, a partnership, or an individual, they are considered a person in a state having state rights and engaged in the business of banking the rest of it doesn't matter why because the only thing we're concerned about is engaged in the business of banking hold on ladies and gentlemen we first come across this business engagement junk engaged in the business of banking we first come across that in presidential proclamation 2039 with the definition of a banking institution Many people would believe that an institution is some building or something. Ladies and gentlemen, not all institutions are buildings. A fraternity doesn't have to be a building. Okay? Pay attention. As used in this order, the term banking institution shall mean all banks and persons engaged in the business of banking. How can we do that? Because it says any other form of banking business. Now, this is 1933. So we take 1933 and we add... Somebody shut that door. We add it to the definition currently as of 2019 given by Congress in 2003 to the Check 21 Act, Section 3, you can find this definition at 12 U.S.C. 5002. 12, copy, 12 U.S.C. 5002. Copy, 12 U.S.C. 5002. So let's find it. Let's see if we can find it. New tab, to the right, to the left, to the left. All right. And there you go. Booyah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, under 12 USC. What is 12 USC? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if we go down here to the bottom, 
started from the top. Now we made it to the bottom. 2003. This is the 21 Act. The Check 21 Act. Tw Check 21 Act. So here are your codifications and statutes at large that you add to prove that the definition hasn't changed from 1933 until the present, that you remain a bank. Any Federal Reserve bank. That's who you is. The bank means any person that is located in a state and engaged in the business of banking and includes any Federal Reserve bank. We've already discussed what any Federal Reserve Bank, so let's prove what any Federal Reserve Bank is. Well, we know that any is a negative determiner. And so we come here and we go all the way up here to the top on page 78 of the act itself. And we come right here because we need to understand where the Federal Reserve got their act from. You better get your act to get your act together. Okay, any Federal Reserve Bank may make advances to any individuals. Now remember, Federal Reserve Banks can only make advances to whom? Well, let's go to the Federal Reserve Act and find out. This is the Federal Reserve Act, Section 16. It says, Federal Reserve Notes to be issued at the discretion of the Federal Reserve Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System for the purpose of making advances to Federal Reserve Banks through the Federal Reserve Agents as here and after set forth and for no other purpose are hereby authorized. So the Federal Reserve Bank can only make advances to Federal Reserve Banks. Hold on. They can only make advances to Federal Reserve Banks? Okay. Any Federal Reserve Bank may make advances to any individual partnership or corporation on the promissory note to such individuals. So, i.e., you're a bank. Because the law, their statute at large, says that they cannot make advances to anyone else but a Federal Reserve Bank through their Federal Reserve agents, which is why you, here and after, get to any Federal Reserve Bank may make an application to the local Federal Reserve agent for such an amount of Federal Reserve notes here and before provided. Such application shall be accompanied by a tender to the local Federal Reserve agent for collateral in an amount equal to the Federal Reserve note thus applied for and issued pursuant to such application. The collateral security thus offered shall be notes. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your only obligation. There is nothing else in law that says you have to pay anything this is your payment when you tender the note along with the application so i'm gonna do something for you because i said i was gonna do this and this is for all those mothers out there who had to struggle when they didn't have to struggle the system wants you to be dumb and stupid thinking that y'all gotta struggle so watch this t o y o t i Toyota, Prius, I don't know how to spell Prius, we're going to do it like that, I want to purchase myself a Toyota Prius online, I want to shop online. The price is $33,241. So I'm going to go to Shop Toyota Canada. Well, I don't want Canada. I want to say, comma, born in the USA. I was, okay. And now that we find ToyotaPrius.com, find your element. Man, I ain't got no elements. I didn't know they made elements. Let me find, uh, did Troya make elements? I thought Ford made elements. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, see, show listings with financing. Well, we don't need financing. We are going to pay for it. But we're going to send them the promissory note. No, we're not going to send them the promissory note. The law didn't say send them the promissory note. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to go to the site. TikTok, TikTok, come on now. Hurry up. 
Now, this is, we're going to build ourselves a car. <laughs> and we are not going to sit up there. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Y'all not doing that to me because then y'all start uh, sending me all kind of junk. Okay, all right. Uh, zip code. Let's do nine. I don't know a zip code. Oh, eight. Nine one zero seven. The company zip code. Okay. Well, let's see. This one looks a little bit more sporty. It's four thousand dollars more. Fifty four to fifty. That ain't working. I need gas. So this is the one I need. This is the cheapest one, too. This is the economy because they ain't got all the frills. So we got eight miles, three miles, technically a total of 13. That's how I do my math. And then we have four miles, three miles, so seven miles difference. Then we have seven miles and four miles that's 11 miles difference. Then we have four miles, three miles, seven mile difference. Okay, the L E L E X L E. I'm gonna select. So we're gonna select. No, y'all gonna walk it through with me. Yay! Hey! Oh wait, wait, they have more cars. Unselect, deselect, deselect, D A D. I, I don't want you no more. D. 51, 40, 50. Nightshade. No, no, no. That's an X-Men figure. I, I don't want Nightshade. I, I don't like Nightshade. And this one right here. Four-wheel drive? You <laughs> better believe it. No, we're going to do this one. Yeah, we got to do this one. Four-wheel drive? I need the four wheels. Yeah, because you, you can't have a car without four wheels. You can do a two-wheel drive car, but that ain't going to work. A uh, full cylinder gas electric hybrid EV power mode selected. Yay! Next step. Now, ladies and gentlemen, interior classic silver metallic. Ladies and gentlemen, you always want to choose white. Why do you choose white? Because in the summertime, some, some, summertime, some, some, summertime, 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 summer, summer, it's very hot. Okay? No packages available. Oh! And you know why there are no packages available? Do you do you all know why there are no packages available? Well, the reason why there are no packages available, ladies and gentlemen, is because the vehicle I just chose and white interior, they don't make that. The reason why they don't make it is because they're used to doing black. They're used to doing darker colors. Well, darker colors absorb heat. Now, in the winter, it's colder because, <laughs> you know, but darker colors absorb heat. Let's see. Who cares about a floor mat? Who, who cares about a stupid floor mat? And uh, I can deal with the liner, but the, the cargo... Uh, basket $49 yeah no I don't need that all right let's go next up I want this right here And I'm going to show you guys what I would do if I were you. I want you all to think. Like I said, uh, Kanye talked about putting a thought out there. Okay, I want you all to think. Okay, now, uh, no cost maintenance plan, roadside assistance. That's not a cost. Processing and handling fee, $1,000. Uh, let's see, what else y'all charging for? That's the suggested price. What if I don't like that suggestion? Oh, what you mean I'm stuck? Now, 
an amount due at signing. No, we're not. We're not financing. I ain't signing nothing. We are not financing. Payment estimator. Credit score. We <laughs> we ain't gonna do no payment estimator. We're paying for this, and we're not gonna send a check. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna send a check. You're gonna get the application. Okay, request a quote. Okay, I, I'll do this later. Won't do it now. Let me make sure y'all understand. S-T-A-N-D-A-R-D. Now, if you already got a car, if you already have a modern car within the last five years, it is not suggested you do this. I know some of you are going to do whatever you want to do because you are intelligent people okay dot pdf it's a standard auto loan application do you have to use their application no it's a free Vehicle loan agreement. Don't want this law depot because you end up going through. Ah, uh, I don't want Canada. Just give me. I watch this because I VPN. Uh, pay attention. Born in the USA. Now, use car financing approval. Get approved. I don't want approval. We're not financing. I said application. Now this is Doc Hub. I don't trust them. I think they're gonna charge me. Fill out and sign online. No. Uh-uh. Car loan application template. Jot form. Don't want to go to Jot form. Take control of your auto loan. Consumerfinance.gov. Do y'all have a PDF? This is probably gonna be the one down here. Come on, uh, consumer finance protection bureau. I, I want to, y'all talk about making budgets and everything. I don't want to buy a car. The government buying this car. Come on now. I just want an application. What y'all doing? I don't see no applications. Nope. Ain't no applications here at no CFPB. Consumer Finance Protection Bureau. Come on. Where my appli application? Where my application at? I don't see no applications, y'all. I'm looking for just a general application. Why is that? Because the law says that I just need the application along with a promissory note. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to put all that junk in. You just have to put the standard stuff in your promissory note. So I'm gonna show you where to go and get a promissory note. Yeah, there, there are no applications here, so we're going to skip this. Sometimes CFPB does have sample applications, but we're going we gonna to skip that. Uh, we can go here. Oh, this, oh, PDF filler. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I, man, I can't stand them. Man, I can't stand PDF filler. Okay, I, it, oh, I didn't even look at the dot .com part. Hold on. Whew, we finally hear sample forms. Oh, man. Lord have mercy. Whew. Okay. Seven plus personal loan agreements and sample. I remember, a car loan is a personal loan. You, you need to understand this. Many of you guys are thinking that a home loan and a student loan and a car loan, that they're giving you the loan directly. Ladies and gentlemen, the banks don't own a home, so they cannot give you a home loan. That's why you got to go through escrow and you have to purchase the home from a previous owner. It's not a home loan. It's a personal loan. That's what you need to understand. Once you understand that, life works a whole lot better. So where's my loan application? There we go. Woo-wee! Short-term loan application. Woo-wee! Got one. Come on now. Got two. And... Got three, because I'm going to amend them. Got four. Got five. Sample mortgage loan form. 
well, that's for you guys who want to do a house because you do the same thing in Staple Student Loan. Do the same thing, y'all. Car loan. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. House purchase loan agreement. Business loan. Don't care about no business loan. Mm-mm. Because the, the uh, can't do a business loan. Do you know why? Because nothing in the law is for you to operate a business. The law is for that personal loan. Okay, that's the law. I like it that these come this way, sample forms. I like it because they come in a zip file. Ladies and gentlemen, I can, because I have the PDF editor, I can edit all of this. Okay, I can change the credit union. Okay, I can create my own form and I can do my application for the automobile that I'm trying to get. Do I need a Tesla? No, I don't need a Tesla. Gas prices? I don't have no plug-in for no stupid Tesla? What the? So no, I don't need no stupid Tesla. I don't need the bling bling. I don't need to keep up with the Joneses, people. I'm tired of the Joneses. The Joneses always around me, always bothering me. I'm trying to get them away from me, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, now wait, 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 wait. You don't need driver's license detail. Okay, but hold on. You're gonna put that anyway, do you know why? Because you need to prove that you are a person. Do not send them one of them IDs you done created on the back of your Photoshop. Yeah, that, that, this, ain't the, this ain't the type of business they talking about. They ain't talking about your Photoshop business. All right. Now that I have an application and I amend this and I complete it, hold on now. Let's see what the act says because we got to follow the act as written. You guys know that, right? That's the law. We have to follow the act as written. Sorry, that's my letter to the CF, I mean, the Federal Reserve Board of Governors because that's what this is all about. Hold on now. We're going to talk to y'all about that in a minute. All right. So, Right now, I am any Federal Reserve Bank because any Federal Reserve Bank, when you look at the definition for bank under, when you click on this section, it tells you it means any bank. So I am an any Federal Reserve Bank as defined in statute. And I may make an application to the local Federal Reserve agent. So I don't send it to Toyota in Timbuktu. I send it to my bank. As long as they're a member of the Federal Reserve, I send it to my bank. Hello, can anybody hear me? I don't get fancy, I follow the act as written. It says local, so this is local to me. I could also do it at the dealership, but why? It says the local Federal Reserve agent for such an amount of Federal Reserve notes that are mentioned above and such application shall be accompanied with the tender. So a promissory note. Well, what's the best form of a promissory note out there? So watch this. We, we went to forms. So let's um, go back to Google and we want U-S-T-R-E-A-S-U-R-Y-P-R-O-M. And then we get rid of the U.S. Because I already have U.S. And U.S. Treasury promissory note. Promissory note. United States to Royal Development. Royal Development. Sample. Fraudulent promissory note. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's no such thing as a fraudulent promissory note. But so that they can't tell you that the promissory note is fraudulent please understand we use one of theirs now this is the United States Department of Agriculture this is their promissory note for those of you who are doing homes there you go this is your promissory note okay that's for the Department of Agriculture you don't have to use that exact one Whew, so glad we got that out of the way ah <sighs> Now, this is, we don't want no subsidized loan. That's for student loans type thing. Promissory note, consumer and border protection. Our customs and border protection. What? Promissory note for the customs and border protection? 
Oh, wait. Promissory notes for customs and border protection. Oh, by the way, the reason why the government does these promissory notes for you is I want you to understand. The reason why they do the promissory note is because what you get to do, see, you don't have to do the custom and border protection. You can just take the note itself and redo it. Get it notarized like you're supposed to. Take the promissory note and that along with a copy of the Federal Reserve Act. You know, the act that I keep showing you that many of you are not paying attention to? This right here, but I wouldn't give them this. I would give them the actual act that was amended. See, this right here ain't it. Well, yeah, this is it. Sorry, this is it. So you don't put the brackets. The brackets don't belong there. The brackets, anything in the brackets is not what the law says. So many of you have seen the actual act. I don't have it here, okay? But other people have shown it to me. I got to download this promissory note because I like it, okay? Revenue Division of Border Protection. So P R. O R Y S A M P L E. All right, we got our promissory note sample. I just, I can take care of the language, but the language is just going to be general language. I can add in the things, get rid of their stuff, but I can add in the things the law says is necessary because remember, I'm not promising to pay. I'm exempt from the promise to pay. I'm exempt because the United States government has said they will pay. You will know. Now, this is the reason why the United States government will pay, why they agreed. The equity value of a zero coupon bond is a countable resource. Coupon bonds, bearer bonds, a coupon bond is a bond that pays periodic interest. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why they do this is because the government trades on your promissory notes. Say what? Okay. The Treasury does have a promissory note, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and I can't find it. It should have popped up immediately, but you know that AI system. So the treasury has a sample promissory note. And so that's all you have to do is pull up one of their promissory notes or any governmental promissory note template. Just that simple. California has its promissory note template. Okay. Government promissory note. See, they talk about fake and bogus. Ladies and gentlemen, how can it be fake and bogus when the law says that you have the right? Okay, wait, 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 hold on. We're not just going to stop there. It'd be foolish if we just stopped there. When Congress says individuals on the promissory notes of such individuals, you have the constitutional right to write a promissory note. Now, look, you can't just write a promissory note for everything and anything. No, no, no. It has to be for your necessities. Necessities. Why? Because when Congress took the gold, give me your gold, upon deposit with the Treasury or at any Federal Reserve Bank in a manner prescribed, then the bank is entitled to receive their money back. You're, recited to, you're entitled to receive the property. Pay attention. Watch this. And in case of deposits of notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers' acceptances, trade acceptances, you're going to download this. Um, this is called... The New Deal, it's on Ameri Legion, on their website under the PDFs. Download this because it has all of the information, the highlights and everything, letting you know that, wait a minute, the government said, wait a minute, the government said that uh, this is new money. It says that my promissory note is the security in gold backing the Federal Reserve notes. And it says that in exchange for the banks using the Federal Reserve notes, that I get to give them a medium of exchange, which is my promissory note, which is legal tender. Good for the payment of all debts. Hold on now. Y'all didn't understand that, right? Ladies and gentlemen, your promissory note is what pays the debt. Why? 
because the government said, hey, give me your gold. You can't be charged interest on anything. Everything is not, pay attention, everything is not prepaid. The government says that it's their responsibility. Wait, wait, you can't prove that the government said that's their responsibility? Such notes shall be the obligation of the Federal Reserve Bank. Such notes, which notes? Well, it says shall be equal, not more than 90% of the estimated value of such notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers' acceptances, so deposited with, as securities. Such notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers' acceptances, as deposited as securities, shall be obligation of the Federal Reserve Bank. Once you give it to the Federal Reserve Bank, it's their obligation. They must produce the Federal Reserve notes, not you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could be very dangerous could be very dangerous. Not this right here, but the government will have a problem because they would have to reshape how they've been doing things because they haven't told anybody that they have the right to do this, even though it's been right here. They haven't hidden this from you. This has been right here the whole time. It's just that you didn't understand what any Federal Reserve Bank meant. But if you had read this, you would have seen that any individual and or corporation on their promissory note may receive advances from the Federal Reserve Board. And remember, the Federal Reserve Board may only make advancements to other Federal Reserve Banks and no other purpose is advancements to be made under the Act. So notes are issued only as advances to other Federal Reserve Banks. Okay, this is general to Federal Reserve Banks with an S. This is general. So what qualifies as a Federal Reserve Bank? Some of you guys are new to this, so you, you, you really don't know. You will know. And so now I'm going to help you understand what qualifies as a Federal Reserve Bank. We don't want to go to 5002. We can go here. There's Cornell Law. And this is how they gonna pre 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 What are you promoting? Legislative, oh, okay. So we gonna go 12, Uncle Sam's, he's got a cough. Um, and then we go, we have to do it the, we have to do it the right way, 412. So we go to 412. Now, we're going to go to Cornell Law. We don't want to go to any of the other ones. We want to go to four, Cornell Law. Now, it's going to take us to 411 first, and I, I'm okay with going to 411. So now that we have 411, see, it says Federal Reserve Bank, but we don't want to look up this Federal Reserve Bank, even though it's going to take us to the same place. We need to go here because this says any Federal Reserve Bank. So let's click on what they mean by any Federal Reserve Bank. So Reserve Bank simply is the term bank. Now, we've already discussed what the term bank means. What does the term bank mean? Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, the term bank means any bank. Okay? Hold on. Let me show you. Because Congress told us what the term bank means and the president told us what the term bank means. I would have you guys go back to the beginning of the video because I can't see my screen. I can't feel my face. Against my window, I can't stand the rain. Beep, beep. Who's got the keys to the Jeep? Brum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, bank. The term bank means any person located in any state who is engaged in the business of banking. Any one of you is a bank. Okay? Just as simple. That, that's how we get any bank. Okay, so the term bank means national bank. Well, I want you guys to understand also you can't define a word with a word. That's why these are terms. Pay, 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 pay attention. You can't define a word with a word. English grammar. So that's why these are terms, means they created a meaning for them. So the term banks, national banks, National Banking Association, member banks, board, district, reserve bank, uh-oh, reserve bank is a term, that's right, shall have the meaning assigned to it under 221. So we have to go by the meaning that's been assigned. It's a term, it's not a word. So let's go find out what the term means. Aw, these are not, this is not where it told us. It says 221, not 221A. Where do I get, to, oh, section 221 of this title. It's a link. So we're going to go and find the link. Okay, whenever the word, no longer a term, 
Bank is used in this chapter. So anytime you see the word bank, it doesn't matter if it is preceded by national, reserve, district. It doesn't matter if it's preceded by member. It doesn't matter. The word bank doesn't matter what word precedes it or follows it. Whenever you see the word bank under Title 12, the word shall include any state bank, any banking association, any trust company operating as a bank, except where national bank and Federal Reserve banks are exclusively referred to. When it says the Federal Reserve Bank, a Federal Reserve Bank, okay, one of the district, uh, Federal Reserve Banks for the district, those are specific. So when it's specific, then you cannot say it means you. It means what it's saying it means. You got to follow the act as written. So this is the exception to the rule of a bank meaning anybody, okay? Now look, for the purpose of this chapter, a state bank includes any bank. Now people say, wait, we're not under the District of Columbia. Ladies and gentlemen, we've already done talked to you that everything is a district. I'm going to click on district real quick. District, the term bank, national bank, do you see that? I just clicked on the word district. Pay attention. Do you understand that? I clicked on the word district. So, District of Columbia. That's what they're meaning by district. The District of Columbia. That's where it controls things. But the term member bank shall be held to mean any national bank, any state bank, or any bank, or any trust company which has become a member of one of the Federal Reserve Banks. Ta-da! You are a bank. No, I'm not. That doesn't say that. Bank. The term bank means any person located in a state and engaged in the business of banking, which means you are a state bank. Pay attention so that you get it. The term member bank shall be held to mean and include any national bank or state bank or bank. Okay. And under the Federal Reserve Act, as amended, state banks are included as banks of the Federal Reserve System. Cha-ching. So now that we can prove we're banks, the thing that you have to start doing now is operating as a bank. So you need to make application for Federal Reserve notes. Now, no, 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 no. I know some of you guys are down there. Well, they ain't gonna get me no Federal Reserve notes. They already done told me they ain't. I, I ain't got nothing coming. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. I'm sliding across the floor because I gotta turn something on. And now that I done turned that on, I can relax. Um, I woke up this morning, went outside, and the core temperature on the thermometer was 12. Point two degrees. I kid you not. 12.2 degrees. And I know it's that cold outside. It, it, I mean, it ain't 12.2 anymore because that was two and a half hours ago. And right now I'm getting ready to build the dogs a shelter. They'll have some insulation and it's a storage shed that I bought. But anyway, we'll talk about that another time. Let's get back to y'all. As I told all of you, by the way, um, this right here, understanding about the Federal Reserve notes, you just have to pull up 48 Stat 337 or the Act of January 30th, 1934. That's the Gold Act, okay? 1934 Gold Act. However, to understand this right here, any Federal Reserve Bank making an application, the only thing you need to do here is go to 1945. Where are you at, 45? Right here, 59 Stat 337. That's the act. All of these other amendments had nothing to do with depositing of Federal Reserve uh, applications. Because remember, it's an application. doesn't say, pay attention, doesn't say where the application comes from. Go ahead. This is quoted directly from here. Okay. It doesn't say where the application comes from. It doesn't say where the promissory note comes from. Only... According to the United States Congress, the intent was for the contracts, the promise to pay, to come from such individuals, partnerships, or corporations. 
and it says secured by direct obligation of the United States. How are your promissory notes secured by direct obligation of the United States? Anybody? Anybody? Because, ladies and gentlemen, the United States has promised to pay. We have provided that any direct obligation of the United States or any notes, see it says or any notes, which makes it an obligation of the United States drafts, bills of exchange, bank acceptances acquired by the Federal Reserve may be deposited with the Federal Reserve agent, the local Federal Reserve agent as securities. And upon these securities, Federal Reserve notes may be issued. That's how. So why don't you guys just follow the act? Now, you guys need to understand, the moment they stop you, then, and you're going to have to go over this information so that you know it like the back of your hand. I'm showing you where it all is. I'm showing you the original congressional intent, which is what you need. That keeps the court from telling you what the act means or what the law means, where they try to make you look stupid. So, no, 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 here it is right here. This is Congress saying what they intended. So, if you can miss me with all that bull that you're talking about, ho, I mean, uh, judge. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you a hoe. No, I would never call you a hoe. There is no way in the world I would ever sit up here and call you a hoe on the public record. That is disrespectful. So please don't ever think that that would be my intention. Why would I ever call you a hoe? No, I said your honor. That's how you handle them. Now, y'all can't do that. No, I can get away with that, but y'all can't. So don't try it. Oh, God, don't try it. Oh, man, again, I get away with stuff like that, but you guys can't do that. So don't don't listen to me when I say stuff like that because they understand me. And they know I know exactly how to hinge them on certain things. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is the government said that it's their obligation, not yours. Look, in case of deposits of notes from you, bills of exchange, bankers' acceptances, ladies and gentlemen, it says 90% is what is covered. The other 10% is not covered. 90% is what's covered. The other 10% is not covered. Okay, bill me. We'll finance the other 10%. So $30,000, $3,000? Finance that. Let's do a 30-year uh, agreement. On three thousand dollars yeah three thousand dollars paid over 30 years uh let's even do seven percent interest i don't i don't care seven percent interest that's fine yeah that's right but no early penalty all right yeah i need to build my credit and then do another promissory note for a personal loan for ten thousand dollars pay off the three thousand dollars no you want to do it for a hundred thousand dollars no you want to do it for a million huh because you're stupid we're talking about one transaction not talking about eight again ladies and gentlemen I did a video telling all of you take your mortgage agreement add a promissory note to it because you did an application get the application you did to move into the apartment those of you who are facing foreclosure don't, don't you just need to follow what I'm saying. Get that application, get your lease, put that together, do a promissory note. Deposit all three. You sign all of them. Resign it if you have to. Get copies and deposit it into your bank account. You don't have to just deposit cash. Go to the bank and say, I'm depositing this into my account. Bring a copy of the Federal Reserve Act. This is the promissory note. I'm depositing this into the account for the life of the agreement. And do the promissory note for the life of the agreement. Don't do the promissory note for eight years, nine years, 10 years on a apartment building when you're not planning on staying in that apartment building for eight, nine, 10 years. At the most, do it for three, but do not do it for more than three years. Because if they pay you for being in that apartment for three years, you don't get that money back. That stays with that landlord. And I know some of you guys want to be shysty and want to make plans to pay attention, get over on somebody, help a friend out or something, 
and that's fraud you don't want to have anybody coming at you for fraud that's why you want to do things on the up and up you don't want to do anything stupid the same thing with all of your necessities your cell phone bill take the application take the promissory note deposit it with your bank now the banks are going to balk this is not blah 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 no excuse me the law is right here well you're not a federal reserve no of course i am here's congress congress saying right here that i get to get an advance based on my promissory note that says there is no other well it says direct obligation to the united states of course direct obligation because the united states says we're going to be obligated here it is right here and they say the reason why they're going to be obligated because apparently they gave y'all some Federal Reserve notes that they called in 1933 when they invented this junk. It was Federal Reserve bank notes back then. But then in 1945, according to that act that I just showed you, they changed it to Federal Reserve notes. So it, under the new law, that money was issued to you guys. And the only way you got to use it is that you had to accept government obligations such as notes, drafts, bills of exchange. And that's what made the Federal Reserve notes dollar for dollar with my promissory note. Because what did I do? I gave up my gold, my family. We gave up our inheritance so that the United States could recover themselves from bankruptcy because it, they said it was a national emergency. So of course I can do this. And if you don't allow me, I will sue you for interfering with my right to access. And then I'll end up getting this thing for free. You sue the bank. You sue the Federal Reserve agent for not following the Federal Reserve Act, which they're required to follow the Federal Reserve Act. Hold on, I got one thing I'm gonna try to show y'all. I hope, I, I hope, I hope, I hope I'll be able to pull it up, okay? I hope I'll be able to pull it up. D M C D A D E A M E N D M E N T. Uh, C O R P O R A T I O N. Must F O L L L L O W. Okay, the McDade Amendment, oh God, USA, this is a VPN thing. Google knows that I'm using a VPN. Uh-oh, did I mess up McDade? Let's get that done away with. Okay, McDade Martha Agreement. Ethics standards for justice requires federal prosecutor to follow state and federal rules of professional responsibility. Ladies and gentlemen, it requires all agencies to follow their own rules. Okay? That's the point. See, the reason why I'm talking about the McDade Amendment, because this is what I studied. And the courts have suggested, especially when it comes with the Administrative Procedures Act. See, this is, they call it Standards of Justice Department Attorneys. Ethical. No, ladies and gentlemen, they are an administrative agency. So, uh, give me one second. F. No, it doesn't want me to do agency. So we got administrative eight times. Hold on. Oh, they, they talked about administrative subpoenas. Enforcement of an administrative subpoena. Ooh-wee. It's there, y'all. Administrative subpoena. That's just to let you guys know that they recognize administrative subpoena. I just guessed it one day. I'd never done it before. I just guessed it. Administrative section, sanction. Some administrative rulemaking body, like the Judicial Conference, blah, blah, administrative rule. This is the Administrative Procedures Act, ladies and gentlemen. The reason why you keep seeing the word administrative, because the Department of Justice is an administrative agency, federal administrative body with similar functions without prior judicial approval or circumstances, okay? Again, they're administrative agencies, all of them. Administrative agencies must follow their administrative policies. That's what the Administrative 
act is all about. So judicial or administrative proceedings, McDade Amendment says they must follow their own rules. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on one second. F O L L O W. Ah, uh, I yeah. It may not say follow. That's me because I break things down. I haven't read this in because there were several court cases that talked about the Administrative Procedures Act and the McDade Amendment. Wait, you know what? Well, we're going to show you guys this in a minute, but uh, let's do that. Okay. And I'm looking for the McDade Amendment and the Administrative Procedures Act. But see, now here's the, here's the point. This is where you'll probably get it easily. The Administrative Procedures Act governs the process by which federal agencies develop and issue regulation. They're a regulatory agency. And because that's what you were just hearing, they have to follow their own policies. Okay? <laughs> That's what the court case said. That's why I referenced the McDade Amendment. It's because it has been well documented that if they have a policy, they must follow it. Oh, Mama, I don't want to follow it. I want to follow you. I don't know who the it is, but it needs to stay out of my way so I can see where you're going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got one more thing I have to show you, and then I gotta get out of here because I got documents I need to work on. I put in the term bank means a person located in any state. Bank as defined by a bank incorporated under the laws of the state and organized under the laws of the United States or another state or in which has a main branch or office in this state. Ladies and gentlemen, we're defined under the laws of the United States because Congress enacted that stupid act and the president enacted that stupid order. A bank is defined broadly to mean any United States national bank or any banking institution, any banking institution, any banking institution organized under the laws of any state of the United States territory of the United States or District of Columbia the business of which is substantially confined to banking and is supervised by a state or territory banking commission or similar official. Nope, doesn't have to be supervised. They're unregulated according to Presidential Proclamation 2039. I would definitely use this definition in this case when I am defining what any Federal Reserve Bank means. Okay? Because they say incorporated under laws of, but you are incorporated under the law. That's why I showed you the Banking Act. That's why I showed you Presidential Proclamation 2039. That's why I showed you the Check 21 Act so that you can see that you are defined under the law. A bank is defined as any person engaged in the business of banking. I, I didn't, a, a person is an individual organization or an organization includes the government, blah, 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 blah. I didn't write this. Thus, the state treasury is a bank for the purpose of chapter four of the code if it engaged in the business of banking. Now, the Uniform Code nor the Texas Uniform Code defines the business of banking. Yes, no one defines the business of banking except the Presidential Proclamation 2039. Okay. This is a case in Texas, and this is an opinion. This is an Attorney General opinion. By all means, y'all better use this. I'm thinking I had to look to see if it was one of them sovereign citizens that was saying that. I'm not joking. This is the Attorney General for the state of Texas defining what a bank is. Ladies and gentlemen, start operating as banks. Do this for your mamas who passed away, who had to struggle every day, and then sue them when they deny you. Don't give, just, you, you. but you have to. They're going to deny you at first. You know it and I know it. Let them deny you. Then you're going to simply do a letter to them asking them to reconsider. Give them 15 days to reconsider. After the 15 days, 
tell them here's a notification of intent to sue since this is a commercial business transaction pay attention since this is a commercial business transaction under the law of commercial business engagement remember we're talking about being engaged in the business of banking banking is commercial since we're talking about commercial business engagement you nor anyone associated with this matter has any sovereign immunity protections as a result of such engagement pay attention that is engaged primarily in the business of banking banking is a commercial activity do your research and now you simply sue them and here's the point sue them in small claims court don't sue them for a hundred billion dollars no 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 you can't sue them in small claims court small claims court has a limit so because the matter involves a limit of over this and over that you can't do that so my suggestion truthfully take them to bankruptcy court well because they are literally involved in the bankruptcy of the united states that's what the act is and they're interfering with you being able to exercise your secured right you feel me all right ladies and gentlemen i am just turning on the other i am about to let you guys go so i can get some work done i hope everything goes well with y'alls for whatever wells y'alls need to have uh and we shall talk okay now if you can't see my screen jumping and all that that's my fault like i said i'm sitting up here changing things and doing things and rearranging things you know what i'm saying that that's what you do with things okay so with that being said have a good day everybody i do hope that this information as always has proved helpful but as i suggested as i continue to say your mothers and fathers and uncles and grandmothers those individuals struggled they had a very hard time they didn't know look they didn't know they didn't know that all they had to do was put in an application and promissory note now this can only be for your necessities let me say that clearly so that you guys hear it it can only be for your necessities you cannot do this for getting up in the world you cannot do it for hundreds of trillions of thousands of dollars there is no such thing as unlimited credit go back and read the act the way the act was written and follow the act the way the act was written i told you i really am only looking for a prius i'm not looking for a car that's worth 150 billion dollars because I don't need that. Some of you are gonna say, well, I need a truck and my, the truck that I'm needing is gonna cost me $120,000. That's you, I can't tell you if that's too much or too little. Well, I need a tractor because I got this farm. Well, then that's a different matter, okay? That's how you are gonna be sustaining your business and everything. You have to think that out, but you deposit it with the local Federal Reserve agent. You have that right. If they say, no, we're not accepting it, ladies and gentlemen, say, I need you to put that in writing because the law says I have this right. Get their name, send it to their corporate office, letting them know that this person is interfering with their right to make deposits into their bank for which the act of March 9, 1933 said they were supposed to be open for such deposits and you need it to be corrected, give them 15 days. Stop giving them 100 days, 30 days, 15 calendar days to correct it. Remember, you're intending on going to suit. If you guys do this, and if you do it right without being dogmatic, then we'll go to the Supreme Court and we'll go to them on breach of the agreement. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a federal contract. Go back and look at it. The government made an agreement. They took the people's gold, which is the takings clause. What is the takings clause? Well, let's ask Google. Google! 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 Oh, Google doesn't want to talk right now. Look at that. All right. Watch this. Okay. What is the takings clause? I already know it's the Fifth Amendment. Okay, I know this because I know the takings clause. I'm the guy who brought it up, okay? But remember, Congress said in 1933, I didn't say this. Congress said this. Y'all go get on Congress. It said right here. Right, right here. Hold on. Slide on over. 
Uh oh, we gotta make this bigger so some some of y'all will uh catamaphrax. Yeah, so y'all can see. All right. Hold on, we ain't talked about it today, but we done talked about it many times. The other gives supreme Diana! Where yeah? Supreme authority to the Secretary of the Treasury of the United States to impound, seize, take without warrant all the gold in the United States or probable cause in the hands of individuals, corporation, and companies. This is a violation of the Fourth Amendment's right for individuals to be protected in their property, possessions, effects, articles, and papers. They gave the Treasury the absolute authority to take your gold, your family's inheritance. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't just take anybody's property in the United States. It says right here, the gold that is given up by the people it wasn't given up, it was seized. So let's pay attention. The takings clause of the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution reads as follows, nor shall private property be taken for public use while the Treasury Department is a public agency. It is not a private agency. The only thing they do is for the public. That's why they have within them the Bureau of Public Debt. Anyway, cannot be taken for public use and hold on. The gold that is given up by the people in the present crisis should be delivered to the government. Interesting. And it should be used to issue additional money. So they can't use the money without my gold. So if I don't have access to it without just compensation, then you're not compensating me. You get them for violation of the takings clause. Give me back my money. Give me back my money. All right? So all of you who knew Sadie or knew someone like Sadie or who knew, you know, Bob, or knew someone like Bob, or who knew little little, 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 little Jimmy over there, or little Sally, and they've all grown up, but they grew up dirt poor and never really had a chance at life and passed away destitute. If, if you've ever known any of them, then why don't you break the cycle, ladies and gentlemen? You've had it proved here several times that you have the right you have the right you have the right to take an application along with a promissory note and have Federal Reserve notes given to you not just to the Federal Reserve agent but given to you but I'm telling you don't do it that way I'm telling you go after the money 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 okay go after the property go after the property go after the property go after the property you want a car? Do the application. You can even tell them, I want to do finance. I need an application for a loan. Fill out the application. And when it comes to the credit, tell them this is a government obligation. This is for, pay attention, necessities. Now, I, it's too, we don't have enough time for me to go over the Age of Majority Act and showing how you have the right to your necessities, your education, and your maintenance. We don't have time for me to go over that information with you. But just understand, these are things you have the right to. So, start, people. I wasn't going to tell you guys about the application and all that stuff, but I said, why not? They might as well have this information. I've been waiting to give you guys this information all week. Well, here you go. Take care of yourselves. Have a coconut smile. And we will talk soon. Goodbye.